guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily general message for Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all that information as well as the Amazon link to my book, Accepting the Gift, is down below in the description box below. So let's find out what we need to know, peeps. I don't know where I come up with it. 15 cards spread for January 9th. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a lot of um, interesting cards this is for the counterpart here the person whom you are in, in a relationship that you crave that you want okay but they're turning up as the king of pentacles earth sign energy does not have to be now the cards before his energy are the two of pentacles the ten of wands the nine of swords and the hangman so i feel that once they cut off this communication this lack of act, action here they instantly regretted it and then they were stuck okay now they're thinking about communicating, but they feel bad because there was this offer from you, I feel, of a brand new start. Uh, but regardless of balance here, they didn't take that opportunity. Instead, they got scared here, and I feel that they moved on away from this situation, okay? Uh, it's kind of like you snooze, you lose, okay? And they're feeling that effect of losing here. I feel like they really want to put in this work here. I feel that they're manifesting big time with the magician and the hermit right next to each other. That's some serious manifestation. Figuring out what exactly the plan is of how to get you back, what they really want, what the, the, what the strategy is to get you back here. I feel that when they come back, they're going to be extra happy, meaning they're going to put on this extra happy face with their tone of voice, you know. Uh, they're going to make it a very positive experience. So that way, this is the way that they're thinking is what I'm trying to say here, is kind of like, uh, if I'm in a good mood, if I'm happy and everything, you should be too. I'm not coming back angry. I'm not coming back scared, nervous. They could be a little nervous, just a little nervous because I am feeling that. Uh, but definitely a lot to work on here in regards to this, okay? There could be a little doorbell action. Hello, ringing your doorbell, coming to the door here, coming on and making up session, if you know what I mean, in a certain mannerism. But I do feel that there is this success of clearing up the old, getting past the heartbreak. I do feel that this person does miss you and you miss them here. And that is the right time to do it here. Not just the interaction, person to person here, but as well as regrouping and it's all divine timing don't we love that saying but there's the judgment here and that's what that tells me so let's do the above and below here there's a decision to start all over again they're manifesting they're thinking they're strategizing with the two of pentacles ace of pentacles and magician here ten of wands the uh, king of swords and the hermit so after they ended things cut off communication they're reevaluating with their thoughts here Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords. So it's kind of like as soon as that they cut off that communication and lack of action, they t instantly regretted it. They wanted to come back then in the beginning, you know, easy uh, comeback kind of energy here. But no, they waited, okay? They waited for this, okay? Because they, they, they messed up because they walked away. But now they want all that balance back with the Hangman, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Fool. So they're hopeful uh, to put this work in to start anew here. And I love how the Fool is showing up. The Fool has been recently to me picking up a lot of energies, meaning January, the new year starting, new year, new, new relationship, new year, new you, you know, kind of thing here. With the outcome cards being the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, the uh, the Tower, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Clarified that Three of Swords with the Five of Cups and the Judgment. This tells me it's been a long time since a decision was made. I do feel somebody is going to be uh, coming in, you know, as a visit for home to have that makeup session there, you know, kind of thing. Whereas others are just making a decision. It's going to be a shock to the system. No, no more kind of thing. But they are going to be successful in expressing, opening up, and saying how sorry they are because now is the time 
to be able to fix this and correct the situation. And that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Uh, we are going live. I completely forgot to say that in the beginning. Duh, Deb. We're going live tonight, Tuesday night, January 9th, 2024, around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have any love questions, finances, uh, I'm your woman. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Uh, but yeah, a long time saying that expression to anybody. Uh, but yeah, so definitely come on in. You can just say hi. You don't have to buy a question. You know, you don't have to pay. You just come on in, say hello. If you just want to stop on by around 6.30 p.m. Everybody's friendly. We're all happy here on the live. This channel is a positive vibes only kind of thing. So come on in. Don't be scared. And just say hello if you want to. So, uh, but hope to see you there. Uh, but yeah, if you want to send in your questions ahead of time, you can. I'll get you on the list. I'll send you the appropriate $7 per question. Uh, and it is 22 now uh, for a full spread, okay, of what do I need to know at this time? Or if you want a love spread, like how do they feel about me spread, that's a 10 uh, card spread with outcome. I pull a lot of cards. I mean, on the live, I go a little extreme. So uh, you get what you get, but you always get good reading. Like you get a lot of cards, a lot of info during the live. So people like it. Some people don't, but because <laughs> of the length of time that I spend, but I do enjoy the live. So hope to see you then. Thank you all for being here. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.